So in the previous video, we looked at the concept of continuity to just get a gut feel of what it means for a function to be continuous in a specific x value. Now we're going to formally define continuity. So a function f is continuous at a number x equal to a if the limit is x equal, as, as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. Now this is a very powerful statement. There's a lot in there. What this means is, firstly, f of a must be defined. So a must be in the domain of the function. The limit as x approaches a must exist. Now remember, for a limit to exist, both from the left and from the right must approach the same number. And once we know it exists, those two numbers have to be equal. So that is algebraically how we're going to test if a function is continuous. Now, nice thing about polynomials, and we saw this looking at the graph intuitively, polynomials are continuous on all real numbers. They remain as all real numbers, so they're continuous on all real numbers. So these functions f and g are polynomials. They're continuous on all real numbers. A rational function is continuous on its domain. So this function h is continuous everywhere except where x is equal to 5. Same with the function j, where x is equal to 4 or minus 2, it's not continuous, but for any other x values, that function will be continuous. Now here's just two special ones. The first one, f of x here, x plus 1 over x plus 1. Now in previous videos, when we looked at limits, we saw that this is not equal to the function 1. If I had to draw h of x equal to the constant function 1, it will look like this. y value will be 1 everywhere. But if we had to sketch this f of x, what it looks like is very similar to h of x. It's the same as h of x everywhere except where x is equal to minus 1. There's a hole in my function. It's not defined where x is equal to minus 1. But everywhere else, it's the value 1. So that function is not the constant function 1. So it's continuous everywhere except at x equal to minus 1 because that's not in the domain. The last one we have here, the domain of this function is all real numbers. That denominator can't be 0. So that function g is also continuous on all real numbers. So let's look specifically at how we're going to test for continuity. And the nicest functions to use to test for continuity is piecewise defined functions or compound functions. So let's look at this first function. You can sketch it if you want, but we don't need the sketch to use the definition to test algebraically if this function is continuous. So if I look at x equal to minus 1, that's where we're looking. So we want to know is it continuous at that specific x value. And we can see that this is where something happens in the function. Now, if we had to had the sketch, we could easily see what we're expecting our answer to be. But we're going to do this without the sketch. So there's a couple of aspects we need to look at. The first thing we need to look at is what is f of minus 1. That's our first step. Is this function defined at minus 1 and what is its value? So at minus 1, that is the first because x is equal to minus 1 there. So this is this first part. So the, it's the constant function 1. Next, I must look at the limit as x approaches minus 1. But remember, because we've got two sides here, we'll have to look at the limit as x approaches minus 1 from the negative side of the function and the limit as x approaches minus 1 from the positive side before we can determine if the limit as x approaches minus 1 exists even. So from the negative side, those are values of x smaller than minus 1. So it's going to be in this first constant function. So that's just going to be the value 1. If I look at values of x approaching minus 1 from the positive side, those are numbers bigger than minus 1, so then I'm looking at the second function. So that'll be minus 1 squared, so that'll be 1. Now we're happy when we see this number is equal to this number, because then we can conclude, and we're not going to jump to our final conclusion here, looking at the limit from the left and from the right, that brings us to the conclusion that the limit as x approaches minus 1 of the function is then equal to 1. Now we can compare these two values, because that's the definition of continuity. We're not comparing these three values. We're comparing the limit as x approaches minus 1 of f of x with f of minus 1. So we've got that, and we can say that f of minus 1 is equal to the limit as x approaches minus 1 of f of x. Those two are both equal to 1, so they're equal. So now I can make a conclusion that f is continuous at 
x equal to minus 1. Now, when we talk about continuity, you must be very specific where. This here we checked for a specific place. In the previous examples, we looked at polynomials. They're continuous everywhere on the domain. But now we're looking at continuity at a specific x value. We're going to look at some more examples in the next video. Last thing to look at in this video is types of discontinuity. So if a no function is not continuous, the question is, what is wrong with it? What's going on there? And there's three main types of discontinuity, and they're named very nicely. The first one is a removable discontinuity. That is a case where there's the limit that exists, but it's not equal to the function value, or the function value doesn't exist. Let's look at an example. This third graph here. Here, as x approaches 1, my limit will exist. My limit value will be 2. So the limit as x approaches 1 of this function, that limit value exists. It's 2. My function value exists at 1, but it's 1. So those two are not equal to each other. So that is a removable discontinuity. Let's look at the next one. A jump discontinuity, named very well. The limit as x approaches a from the negative side and from the positive side exists, but they're not equal to each other. So let's look at this first example. Let's look as x approaches minus 1. The limit, or x approaches 1. The limit as x approaches 1 of this function from the negative side is going to be 1. And the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side of this function is going to be 2. So I can conclude that the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x doesn't exist. So it's not continuous at 1, and it's a jump discontinuity. And then the last type of discontinuity we're looking at is called an infinite discontinuity, also well named. If one of the sides from the positive or the negative side tends to plus or minus infinity. So that limit doesn't exist. So, But we can say it goes to infinity or negative infinity. So what we have here, if I... This is 1 over x squared. As x goes to 0 from the positive and the negative side, my function value goes to positive or negative infinity. So the limits don't exist, but they go off to infinity, and therefore it's an infinite discontinuity. So in the next example, next video, we're going to look at some more examples of testing continuity and then looking at the types of discontinuities.